As we age, responsibilities take over, leaving us with far less time to dedicate to training. And that's why in this video, I want to share the only 5 exercises you need to build a solid, well-rounded physique. Ideally, you want movements that are stable, train the target muscles maximally, and minimize fatigue. That's why I've chosen 5 exercises based on the foundational movement patterns. These ensure we hit every major muscle group effect and enhance our functional capabilities to help us not only look like a million bucks, but feel like it too. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Exercise number one, Bulgarian split squats. When discussing the squat movement pattern, we often think of bilateral exercises like barbell back squats or leg presses. However, we're after not only bigger muscles, but also stronger and more resilient joints. The Thus, single leg movements, specifically the Bulgarian split squat, may be a better option. According to this study from the International Journal of Exercise Science, when comparing split squats, Bulgarian split squats, and back squats, the Bulgarian split squat produced the same levels of muscle activation in the lower body as traditional back squatting, but with half the load. In another study that compared the back squat and the Bulgarian split squat, the researchers found that the latter produced less demand on the knee joints. In summary, this single leg squat variation allows you to keep training at a high intensity and enjoy the same muscular adaptations without the need for heavy loads on your spine and other joints. Another advantage of this movement is the ability to emphasize either your quads or your glutes by simply adjusting the angle of your torso. To focus on the quads, keep your torso as upright as you can with which increases the angle of knee flexion required. To focus on the glutes, simply lean forward to put the glutes in a lengthened position and increase the hip extension moment. Finally, when it comes to loading the movement, I prefer loading one side of the body instead of holding a weight in both hands as this increases the demand on your deep hip musculature. Strengthening these muscles surrounding the pelvis yields significant benefits in terms of hip health, overall movement stability, and lower body injury prevention. Exercise number two, T-bar rows. According to this study, the general lifting population is indeed predisposed to shoulder problems due to the nature of our training. This often involves a focus on aesthetics, thereby mainly training the superficial muscles like the pecs and delts, while neglecting the deep and smaller upper back muscles which are responsible for stabilization of the shoulder. Another study indicated that bodybuilders have imbalances regarding strength and range of motion at the shoulder that may make them susceptible to shoulder pathology. This is exactly why we want a pulling exercise that is quick to set up, simple to execute, and easy to load. Not only does the T-bar row require far less stability than the traditional barbell row, it also allows for a variety of grips, making it far better for targeting different areas of the back. From a stability standpoint, you only have to worry about pulling the weight because the machine guides your line of pull. And because of this this fixed movement arc, you can work the upper back and the lats to the same degree by focusing on a few key things. First, in the bottom position, allow your scapula to protract as much as possible without rounding your spine. This lengthens your traps and rhomboids, increasing the tension produced and thus increasing overall muscle growth. Next, since the bar is hinged, you're inevitably going to be pulling up and in towards your ribs or hips. Studies show that the lats gain leverage and lower degrees of shoulder elevation, making this fixed movement a great way to hit the lats as well. And finally, at the top position, consciously push your chest out to maximize the retraction of your shoulder blades and thus maximally recruit those upper back muscles. By emphasizing these techniques, you'll enhance muscle activation and achieve better overall back development with the T-bar row. Exercise number three, 
45 degree hyperextension. When it comes to the hip hinge movement, most people think of deadlifts and their variations. This often leads to the misconception that you need to lift heavy to effectively work the hip hinge, which either deters people from incorporating this movement pattern or causes them to lift heavier than they actually need to. And while this may be okay while you're young, the harm it could cause your hips and lower back as you get older isn't worth the trade-off. Fortunately, there's a great alternative the 45 degree hyperextension. Research conducted by Anderson et al. involved 15 experienced lifters who were monitored while performing 45 degree hypers, Romanian deadlifts, and machine back extensions. The findings revealed that hyperextensions produced more consistent torque throughout the movement and activated muscle fibers in the glutes 23% more than the Romanian deadlifts. Not only that, but the 45 degree hypers were more effective in activating the biceps femoris compared to the other exercises. And if that wasn't enough, there were no significant differences among the three exercises in terms of activating the erector spinae. According to this study, the Romanian deadlift has a gradual decrease in external torque, with the torque being close to zero in the top position. In contrast, the Roman chair provides more consistent torque throughout the movement, meaning the joint remains significantly loaded throughout the lift. The 45 degree hyperextension therefore stands out as a superior exercise for targeting the glutes and hamstrings. This makes it an excellent choice for men over 40 who need a more effective and safer hip hinge movement that doesn't require heavy lifting. It also promotes better hip stability and mobility, which are crucial for maintaining overall functional strength and preventing injuries as we age. And like the Bulgarian split squat, this exercise can be adjusted to focus more on the hamstrings or glutes. If you want to emphasize the glutes, simply externally rotate your feet and allow for a slight bend at the knees. If you prefer a bit more hamstring involvement, then simply keep your knees straight. And remember, while we can place more emphasis on either the glutes or hamstrings, you'll be working both of these muscles to a great degree with either variation. Exercise number four, low incline dumbbell press. One study where they placed electrodes over the lower, middle, and upper chest alongside the triceps and front delts found that a 15 degree angle is not only great for hitting all fibers of the pec, it also elicits more activation of the deltoids. Another benefit of the low incline is it's easier to load than the traditional incline variation and since progressive overload is the main pathway by which we build muscle, this uncommon chest exercise gives you a better bang for your buck. And anecdotally, many lifters find that their shoulder joints feel better during incline presses, especially when compared to barbell variations. Not only that, but dumbbells are a bit more versatile since your hands get to move freely, allowing you to adjust your grip, range of motion, and elbow position to make the exercise gentler on your joints, which is crucial for longevity. And exercise number five, wide grip upright rows. One study published in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research examined in the effects of different grip widths during upright rows. The researchers investigated three widths and found that deltoid and trapezius muscle engagement increased as grip width widened. Also, by adopting a wider grip, you're pulling up and retracting your shoulder blades at the top of the movement, ensuring more optimal trap recruitment. While this can be done with a barbell, I prefer dumbbells because they allow for greater freedom of movement. Barbells or other fixed bars can cause discomfort in the joints, particularly in the shoulders as they force your arms into a fixed, internally rotated position. Start the movement by keeping your hands close to your body as you pull the dumbbells up. As you pull the weight up, move your elbows out to your sides, creating a wide diverging path between the dumbbells. Then, when your hands reach sternum level, slightly externally rotate your shoulders, bringing your wrist to the same level as your elbows or slightly higher. Executing the movement this way makes it more than just a delt movement, but a shoulder complex exercise involving your side delts, traps, and rotator cuff muscles. Furthermore, since the shoulder externally rotates a bit at the top, it prevents the shoulder impingement often felt and seen with traditional upright rows. So 
there you have it the only five exercises you need in your 40s and beyond whether these are the only exercises you do or just the focal point of your training you'll have no problem building muscle gaining strength and bulletproofing your body for longevity did you find this video helpful if so click the like button below as it'll truly help out the channel also if you're an intermediate or advanced lifter whose muscle gains have stalled and are looking to jumpstart new muscle growth grab a copy of mass 5 full body this is a high frequency full body workout for intermediate and advanced lifters who are looking to take their physique to the next level and right now you can get an additional 25 percent off by using the coupon code mass 25 if you want to learn more click the link in the description below and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe for more videos and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next one Peace.